Hey Geek, so if you've been using OBS, you probably have scenes set up and you probably even have multiple profiles. But one thing you might have noticed is whenever you start recording, you can't access the profile settings. So meaning that you're stuck with the profile that you have. And you might be wondering, can I use other profiles at the same time? And can I record at the same time using different profiles? Well, this is something that I also was wondering myself because there are times that I might want to do different types of recordings. Like for example, this profile that I have now records my entire desktop, but maybe I want to use my other profile where I'm recording a vertical video. And then for some people, maybe they want to record their desktop, but they also want to stream at the same time. Well, thankfully OBS does allow you to do this really amazing thing. And this is something that's really not noticeable unless you actually try it out yourself and it's super easy to do. So all you have to do is once you have OBS running, even if it's already recording, you just launch OBS again and it's gonna ask you that OBS is already running. Do you want to run another instance of OBS? And you just say launch anyway. And surprisingly, OBS comes up <laughs> But the cool thing is whenever you have this second instance of OBS that comes up, you could actually choose a different profile. And not only that, but you can also change the settings here as well. So they're separate, but they're the same. It's still the same program. It's just a different instance of OBS. This is really awesome. So in this case, say for example, I wanted to record a vertical video on this profile. Well, I could do that and I go ahead and set up my scenes as usual. In this case, I already have a browser that I have set up for a vertical video. And so I have both of these running. And if you notice, I'm still recording on this one that's recording my entire desktop, but now I could actually record using this vertical video profile as well. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is before you start recording on your second profile, make sure that in your settings, under your output and recording, that you put this in a different folder because you might wanna record things simultaneously at the same time. And if you actually have a shortcut available, if you start recording at the same time and it goes to the same place with the same file name, it's gonna cause problems. So that's the first thing. Make sure your recording path for your other profile is different from your main one or the naming has to be different. So that way you could start recording simultaneously and be sure to apply these changes. So that's something that I noticed myself. So in this case, on my video folders, this is where all my OBS recordings go to. But here I created another folder for my vertical videos. And obviously if you have another profile that you wanna use for something else, just name it whatever you want and have it in a different folder. And now that you have this set up, you could actually start recording using this profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to this vertical video. You notice that there's nothing there right now. And let me open up my original videos folder and it's recording right now. So here is my vertical video. I'm gonna go ahead and start recording. And now it's starting to record and there is the vertical video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like move this around. So here's the recording. So great. So I've got my vertical video, I'm gonna stop it. And obviously I'm still recording my desktop so I'm not gonna stop this yet. So if I go here and I play this, there is my uh, vertical video as you could see. And once I'm done with recording my desktop or whatever profile I have here, I just go ahead and stop the recording and it works just like normal. This is really an awesome feature. I'm just really surprised that OBS doesn't really make it apparent that you could do something like this because this is really awesome. And you could get really creative with this. You could have all types of different profiles and scenes. You could stream in multiple different platforms. And if you wanted to get even crazier, you could start up another instance of OBS, launch it. And we'll do the same thing that we did with the vertical video one. I'm gonna choose a different scene. And I'm also gonna create a different folder uh, for this other OBS instance. So in this case, I'm gonna record this video game that's running. Uh, but first I'm gonna go into my settings, go to, oh, to output, recording, and I'm gonna create a new folder under videos. And I'm gonna call this one uh, screen recording or video background, which cause that's the name of my scene that I have set up. But in this case, I have a video game running, but I'm gonna create that. I'm gonna select, 
and I'm gonna apply this say okay so now let's go ahead and start recording this one so now I'm recording with my desktop this video game and let's go ahead and start another one for this vertical video I have three different recordings at the same time so there is the desktop recording here is the vertical video is recording right now and then let's go to this new folder uh, which is the video background let's see if that works yep I have a video there so I'm gonna go ahead and stop each of these so I'm gonna stop this one all right that stopped I'm gonna stop the vertical video and obviously I'm gonna keep the desktop running so let's go ahead and check this out so the first thing is I'm gonna check out this video background there it is and it has the audio as well and then for my vertical video this is the newest one yep everything works and that is really crazy because I have three different instances of OBS I could have recorded all those simultaneously but that is just such a crazy awesome feature in OBS and if you are the type of person who wants to do something like this now that you see it is possible so if you did have any thoughts on these OBS multiple profile simultaneous recording be sure to leave it in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my OBS tutorials tips and tricks I do have an entire playlist I'll leave it in the description area below or up here for serious youtubers check out TubeBuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below